see how to create a square shape button let's start adding the button class here in the design this button is added and it will override the whole screen as this is just a single button which we have added here and provide the content here for this button square button by default it appears the whole screen if you want to convert it to the square button along with a few properties of color background color foreground color and the proper shape for this one we have to add for the styles for you so add this window resources at the stop sign in this window resources add the styles so style uh, let's say key is for button style button style and the target type will be the button let's so make a type button and then for the styles add the setters for the properties property first of all height and width height make this value as a hundred another property we have to set for this is width value again 100 so it will create shape for this button as we are going changing these values for this button properties we are adding the styles here uh, and uh, to get it applied in the static time we have to add static resources here so here i'll make the style property and the static resources for the uh, it's going to be a button style it's appearing in intelligence and button styles which we added at the top level of the window resources and this will be a kind of square button if you see this is exactly a square which we have given height is 100 and the width is 100 so remaining properties will so we can add it here for properties also we can add as a background color background So this is how it is looking as light sky blue and foreground let's say dark blue value will be a dark blue if you want to give the thickness for the water thickness it's this property this property water thickness value is 2 so little bit we can see this border getting changed for here so this is how we can make it square button and next shape that is a circular shape so in last video we created this square shape of a button style now we're going to change this to a circular so I'm changing this content from square to circular. So by changing the circular, it's a content only we change. Now this appearance from the square to circular we have to change. So for this change, we are going to use a template property into the styles. So set this a property of a template. So basically what this template property does template property allows us to change the visual appearance of this control so for setting this value for this template so this value we are going to use a control template so control template has a target type which is a button we are applying these changes to the button so now for this control design we will use a grid a layout panel orientation panel that is a grid so inside this grid will add a shape of a ellipse so this ellipse class design which will be useful for creating this circular shape so once i added this ellipse you can see this change to this uh, ellipse has been the circle has been added here now we'll make a change of these properties like filling this color into the ellipse shape so and 
going to bind this template binding that is existing what we have this background so this background which is going to be filled inside this one just build once to see the change into this uh, static design see this color has been changed and if you want to change some another color let's say here you want to change the black color then you can see this, this our button and the ellipse color background color has been changed to the black and then uh, the border brush and this thickness also we can change let's say border brush which we created as a red and if we change the stroke of this ellipse with the template binding it's of a border brush and it's going to be red so it is appeared into the red and stroke thickness the same template binding the stroke thickness will be using this property as a border thickness here now we have this circular button as a content so this should be visible now this background color is a black and also content is on a black so we'll change the color of a foreground property or this text that is a content property and this foreground is going to be a value of white still it is not visible because we haven't shown where this content should appear so inside this script we added the ellipse same way we'll add this content presenter where our content should be shown on our button control so, so vertically it should be a center and this horizontally also we'll make as a center build once again to see the change in the button so you can see this is a circular button which we got it here so we use this block additionally by for ch changing the shape of square button into the circular button 